Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is one of the easiest logos I think I've ever done for somebody, and it's pretty good learning curve, uh, pretty easy. You can see it's pixelized, and I can't even, can't really remember. I'm loading a video when I do that. My uh, bandwidth is so low, I can't even go back and look at her Facebook question on what to do, so I was just, while I was waiting for that video to load, I just recreated it. And I think I'm spot on even with the colors. This is really easy. Uh, we're working in millimeters here and this thing is like 106 millimeters. So I'm gonna set my nudge factor to like 110 millimeters. So I can nudge some things out of the way if I need to. I draw everything in a hairline. So I'm gonna start drawing with a three point curve. I'm gonna do this line here first. Probably the most difficult, but it's still very easy. I'm gonna get kind of like in the center of that line and drag a line to that. I'm gonna start moving it down. I'm gonna hold the control button down. I'm gonna get a more uh, symmetrical line. Now you can see that this circle is not a true circle, but we can get the shape tool and grab a node and make it more into that line. Now, if I was gonna do this for the customer, I would go back and uh, maybe do this and uh, like I do before and just get one side right. I'm gonna turn this into a cusp so the other one won't move. And what I'm saying about, I would wanna make this thing equal, but I think it's pretty close. The second hardest one is gonna be this one. Just go from the center, kind of parallel across, holding down the control button with the line. This one's more symmetrical. Let's zoom in here, get the shape tool and bring that in. Grab this one and bring this in. Now you could play around with this for a long time and I would if I was the person for the customer. And basically you're just getting that line. The rest is uh, easy. Take the two point line now and you do wanna kinda of connect these lines. So with the two point line, I'm gonna go from the, about the center till I see that node click. Now this one is about the center. I'm not going all the way to the edge because I'm gonna make this line thicker. Now I do wanna go from node to node and I'm gonna zoom in here to make sure I got my crossbar and I'm off a little bit. I'm not even parallel, I don't think. Let me do that line again. Holding down the control button, now I get it perpendicular. That white line is part of the other logo and I think we're good. So I am going to take our logo and move it out of the way. There's our lines. I'm gonna select them all. I'm gonna double click on my pen. I am going to put about four points in black. And I'm also going to scale with object. Now that's not quite as thick as the logo, so we'll back up and we'll go to five points. You don't have to use one of the points that are in there. You can always select it. That, it could probably go to six and six might be one of our numbers, but it's not. So we'll just type in six. And I think that's it. Now, same thing with these lines. And I don't know if she's engraving this or supplementing it to get the true color, but we're gonna get the two point line and there's an edge holding down the control button to that next perpendicular. There's an edge, whoop. Sometimes Corel does that and I do that a lot with the calculator, it's right near my delete tool. See, I'm off a little bit, let me back up here. You need to kind of start moving before you hold down your control button. Start moving and then hold down your control button. Now let's get rid of that oddball line. And I don't have to select all my logo, I just have to select theirs and get out of the way. Now I'm gonna just nudge this over. Now I'm gonna take all those lines and they're a little bit thicker than the logo. So let's double click on the pen tool. Let's make them four points and scale with object. Now they're not the same color as the logo and I'm a little bit thicker. And they are, it is 
closer I've, I've jumped this one up or not. So we can match that color if she's doing some sublimation. Go to the eyedropper tool, click on that color and pour it over there. Let me zoom in here. Look at the difference between those two colors. So now I can go eyedropper tool, pour it, and you'll, you'll see a no-go and a go sign. I think we're dead on. I'm actually gonna send you this logo. Matter of fact, I'll send you both of them and you could critique them, uh, but I really wish you'd draw your own. It's That's fun and easy. And so these lines are a little bit thinner. So this is the regular logo, the starting one, you know. This is the regular logo. So this one's probably closer in line. So I'm gonna control G and group it. Now remember that we, and I missed some lines. Remember that we scaled with object. And I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna make a duplicate of that guy. And let's say this log, I don't understand millimeters, but no matter what size we make it, the line's gonna be scaled to the logo. Anyway, I hope that helped her a little bit. Thank you for watching.